last. I think the last time I was here was uh, November the 19th, and believe me, I've been itching to come back here. I mean, we've all had COVID, etc., etc., been going on, work commitments, everything else. So it's nice to be back here. What's it? January 27th today. Back to Silver End again. So uh, sorry for been hanging about for the last few weeks, not doing nothing, but at last I'm here. So yeah, uh, we're going to do an overnight tonight, see how it goes. I've not put any bait out yet, so obviously it's what it is. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not a pro fisherman. This is my quest to catch a big carp. Whether it happens or not tonight, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, got my son with me, so he'll be doing the video, and so any bad editing, blame him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Um, one thing I want to talk about, whether now or later on, I don't know yet, I'm not going to get into it yet, is video and equipment. This is all purely done by stick and uh, mobile. I'm not too sure. Anyone got any suggestions for me, put it in the comments below. It would be nice to know what you use. I mean, perhaps, I don't know. I was thinking some a, a GoPro Hero 11, something like that, but it's a lot of dosh just starting off at the moment so i think just stay in your means what you can afford at the moment and uh yeah you know i think it's more about what we can do so i mean i'm gonna try and get a fish on the bank later on uh don't quite know like i said earlier how to approach it i'm solid bagging i'm not gonna spot no bait out i think at the moment it's just i mean it's had a lid on its lake for the last week uh so you know we'll just see, see what happens i think a little bit of bait on a bag um with a, a manila pop-up maybe no maggots today uh just how we're gonna approach it i don't know but uh the fun of it is being here being out again love this weather it's a nice evening i think it's been minus two tonight uh quite a bit of that so uh bring it on let's see what happens tonight so uh yeah come on the car Well guys, that's it, I'm in, uh, at last, it took a little while, we had a right palaver when we turned up today, honestly, uh, been to work, uh, half day today, uh, got down here about two o'clock, thought I'd walk down the back pit, fully loaded up, didn't know what I was going into, because I've never fished that uh, before, I think it's a fish, uh, like a swim called Lumpies, but anyway, we was heading for there, fully loaded, it was a bog, it was an absolute bog, it took all my strength and my boy's strength to walk back with all the gear, all the way back round to this when we're on this first lake. But uh, yeah, it's nice. We're in at last. So like I say, a bit of a blunder start. Happens to us all, doesn't it? But you know, I should have done my homework first. But that's it. Like I say, kettle's on now. Uh, this is really nice in here. It's like a nice little uh, sort of a, quite a bit of a copse area. It's really, really nice. Uh, hopefully we're going to be a little bit sheltered from the elements later on. If it gets really frosty, it might hold it off on us a little bit. But uh, hey yo, that's what it is. Can't wait. But yeah, anything that happens tonight, uh, I'll keep you updated and uh, yeah, bring on the carp. Right, well, I'm sitting here. It's lovely. Look at the stars. It is beautiful. This is what it's all about. Somebody, I watched a video once of, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. He said, uh, like, blank is a harsh word. He says, what you take out of it. And I totally agree with the guy. You know, it's, yeah, we all want to catch carp. Uh, you know, it, it's really nice. Obviously, you know, I'm sure one day or tonight, you don't know what's going to happen. But it's not about, I, I'll say, like I say, blank is too harsh a word. I think if you're on the bank, you're enjoying yourself, it's lovely, mate. It's all about that, being out in the wild, in the cold enjoying your life and it's you know we all go through a lot of stress and strains in life you know work other stuff going on but mate honestly if you're new to this game keep it going take your time make plenty of visits throughout the year and it's just so stress-free going back to the uh back to the rods uh, i've got a pva on both rods about 12 foot apart so sitting in 12 foot plus of water about a couple of little knocks here and there 
I think it's Bream just having a little look. Uh, yeah. See what happens tonight. I'm sure we could get some action tonight because I'm in a good spot here. I've had a little feel around on the bottom. It, it seems pretty, uh, you know, it's a little bit silty. I don't think it's deep silt. It's hard silt. Um, so I'm on inline lead. So I didn't really want to stick heavy weights on and plonk it in a load of silt. And like, you know, I don't know what debris down there, the leaf debris from the, from the autumn time. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep working out and looking through it. I might have a recast later on tonight, see what happens. But I think the last time, I mean, I was over a place called Hoochins in Essex and um, I think my rod was out for about a good 14 hours. I just could not be bothered to get in. I'll just give it up and all of a sudden, bang, yeah, nice 22 pound uh, carp about two o'clock in the morning come in. Really nice, really nice. But uh, yeah. What it is, we shall persevere. I'm sure it's going to happen sooner or later for me. And I want to keep plugging this place out. Anyway, if anything comes along, uh, I'll update you. See you soon. Right, good morning, guys. Mm, not a lot's happened overnight. I had a run around about, well, a little run, shall we say, about half past 12. Uh, dived out of the tent, went to a rod. Dropped off, stopped, end of story. But a uh, very quiet night, cold night, but I really enjoyed it. The tent's a little bit wet inside, to say the least, at the moment. I don't know what the conversation We did have quite a heavy frost come down last night, about, I don't know, 11 o'clock. It really got frosty, but thank God the cloud cover come out. So uh, that's why it is. But what, I mean, what I'm going to do today. So I will knock around here to about four o'clock time, I don't know, something like that. I'm just going to watch the water for the next hour or so, see if I can see any bubbles, any fizzing, any movement. And I'm really, really tempted to uh, stick a zig on. I, you know, not too sure at the moment how to play it still, but uh, yeah, it's just very quiet. Uh, I did have a recast with my left hand rod about half past four this morning. Won't happen with that at all. Uh, just, I don't know, just you have that feeling, don't you, overnight. But, um, way it is like i said yesterday just a quick one while it's a bit quiet going back to video equipment for uh, video and for youtube you know there's a lot of people getting into it now you know seriously i've been looking around i don't really i mean people you i mean i've I used to be a photographer and i've got like a canon uh 7d mark ii one of to use that but the back screen it's not very great to uh uh you know video with i don't think it's more of a photographer's camera but uh Got any ideas, what cameras to use, uh, GoPros to use, whatever, video equipment to use, please, it'd be great to hear if you know, just drop a comment below. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people use some real top gear stuff, but I say, always say this, you know, unless you're getting paid for this job, which I certainly am not, I just started out uh, with uh, filming, but um, yeah, just stay within your means. Uh, but like I said uh, yesterday, it's about enjoying yourself, what you do on the bank, and uh, what you can produce at the moment, nothing. But hey ho, it's going to happen. Um, but if it's not today, like I said before in my last video, I'll keep coming back, and I'll keep coming back, and keep coming back. I'm going to fish a few different venues uh, through this season. Uh, some day ticket ones. This is Syndicate Lake. Well, not Syndicate, it's Club Water Lake, should I say. Uh, and I will persevere this. Um, there's another guy I've been watching. You know, he, he does fish the back pit quite a bit, so I will catch up with him one day. Take some advice, see what he's got to say about it. Uh, do my homework before I trudge down there again and get absolutely knackered for no reason at all. But yeah, such a shame I couldn't fish that last night. Uh, but yeah, I weren't prepared to uh, push a barrel through any more mud uh, across that field. That's just doing my nothing. So uh, yeah, anyway, like I say, we'll watch the water for the next hour or two. See what I'm going to do and uh, I'll keep you updated. So uh, yeah, same again, bring on the carp.
Right, solar bags. This is a horrible solar bag to me. I mean, I picked up from a, a tackle shop, I'm not gonna say where, yesterday in a hurry, uh, just as I finished work, because I really didn't want to go into town to the more fishing shops I run it. I've got some solar bags there, but they've sort of, uh, I don't know, they got a bit damp, I think. Anyway, I'm not the best solar bag man, and I do not like this flap under here. It's quite a flap underneath the solar bag. I've tried uh, with a few I chucked out so far last night to lick the bottom in, and then they just won't hold. Anyway, bright coloured pop-up, show you. And not everybody likes doing this, the split shot. Now, yeah, I do normally use party lead, but this time I'll just use a split because the reason being I'm about a size 8 hook there and this already had a split on it so I really couldn't be bothered to change it over. Like I said before, I'm a lazy fisherman. So, I'm all fingers and thumbs on this but what you basically do, drop that in the corner, if you can see that. I know we've all seen it before, boring, I know, but there you go, I just thought I'd do a bit. Stick it in one corner, I always put it at the bottom of the bag. And the reason being is, once you've got that in the bottom corner of your bag, tell me if I'm wrong, put a little bit of gizmo, whatever your mix is, there's my mix, yeah. Fill it, drop your weight through the middle, yeah. Put a bit more around your weight, wrap your bag up. The idea being, as that bag comes down, hopefully, the lead will sit first. This should sit up like that as the bag dissolves. Hey, Bisto, you pop up sticking above the presenter bait so just a short one mate honestly all well, mates all of you yeah it's just basically what we all know but that's my version of how to do it but next time i'll do this i'll show you properly and i want to get some stems as well p ray stems uh gemini are the best longer stems quite sturdy yeah we'll go again Tell you what, it's nothing like a cold morning walk on the bank. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna have a little walk around here actually because uh, it's a nice little spot that uh, a lot of fishermen, it's not, it's not deep because obviously we know carp like deeper water this time of year, but you never know. You can get some knocking around the pad sometimes. Like I know the deep under at the moment, the dive back. Uh, also, there's some uh, obviously dead uh, reeds around at the moment. There's a nice spot for carp, this is. So, what well, I'm just going to have a little, well, just going to have a quick peek. If there's any movement. Knocking around the old, uh, around the reeds. Bloody mallards, I do my head in. Another thing is, tight lines, slack lines. Does it matter? Yeah, me preferably tight lines all the way, but I don't think it really matters, does it? Just one of the things, isn't it? Right, I'm not gonna uh, mess around too much. There's a uh, there's one other fisherman out there, I think he's had a quiet night too. Basically, here a lot of carp run all the way around these reeds. There are Lilies normally come out around here. Get the camera around a bit better. Obviously, they die back this time of year. That can be a good spot. There's a lot, I mean, I've seen definitely carp into the, like the mid 20s. It's a huge bream there last year, roll, which is unusual. Well, in double figures. Uh, oh, yeah. Carp fishermen, but I would like a double figure bream. But uh, yeah. I might pop around here for an hour later and just drop something in and see what happens. But, no more luck, it won't happen. I'm not, I know a lot of fishermen like to move around. I'm a lazy fisherman, I'll admit that. I'll be the first to admit it. I hate pushing gear around the bank. I know a lot of guys, you know, they'll chuck a couple of rods out before setting their home up, so to speak. Fair enough, we're all different, but me, nah, I'm lazy. I like to sit in one spot, and that do me. Uh, Never been like, a, you know, I normally do 48 hours. This time of year, just 24 hours do me. 
I think the longest session I've done is 96 hours. One spot, didn't have a lot going on. Uh, just a few tension, that was it really, but that's me. Just love it. Love sitting there, chilling out, no stress, enjoy life, especially in the summer. Shorts on, kick your old flip flops off, and uh, yeah, just chillax on the bank. Really, really nice. Anyway, so yeah, I will have a look over here later if anything moves. I will see it from here. And another thing, I never do this binoculars, bring binoculars. Christ's sake, I'm a bird man as well, but I don't bring binoculars. Crazy, isn't it? Never mind, live and learn, don't we? Next time. Anyway, see how it goes. Cheers, guys. Well guys, that's me done. It's uh, typical, never blank for me. My cart quest carries on, and uh, it's all in the hand of the cart gods. They're not with me at the moment, but I'm sure it will happen sooner or later. At the end of the day, it's a winter session. There's a lot of us go through this, but we're still here. And I always believe in showing like, you know, the lows with the highs, and at the moment I'm showing you all the lows, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come along. Yeah, my real quest is to hit a 30. I've never hit a 30. Uh, 27 pounds my biggest, so uh, that, that's that's what I'm aiming for. And I'm sure this lake, and particularly uh, the back pit lake there, it will produce one day. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please keep subscribing. I'm new to this, and I'm sure it'll get better and better, hopefully. And uh, you know, anybody who does comment about what to use on video equipment, your input would be brilliant. You know, it's, it's all helpful. Anything else, any other tips you can give me would be brilliant. So I'm not a pro, I'm just a man who likes to come cart fishing. Bit of a lazy one, I like to pick my spot, sit there and see what happens, let the cart come to me. But, uh, you know, part of the game is I might be in the wrong place, I don't know at the moment. This is the deepest part of this uh, lake far as I'm concerned. And, uh, yeah, ain't happening for me, is it? But, uh, hey-ho, we'll keep going and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.